Hi, my name is Roger. In this video we're going to do a pause play media button and of course it is an animated so when I click it goes to play and when I click again it goes to pause. So one more time in case you missed it. There we have it, our own pause and play button. Here we have the canvas, uh, the backdrop is an image. Then the custom canvas, I've deleted all the timers except timer down. Uh, I've deleted the enter and the exit because I don't need them in this video. Then the variables. My pause is a boolean. Timer down is timer, trans pause and trans play are integers. Then the close, no, only one timer of course, mouse down, timer on, return true, because we have the mouse up event. In the mouse up event we turn the timer also on, and we have an if statement. If my pulse is true, then false, else it is true. Then the open, it opens with my pulse is false. Transpose is nil, so it is visible. And transplay is 255, not visible. Transparent. Timer period. I've set it to 20. Play around with it. Uh, paint event. Well, it's all familiar. Here we have the variables. And there for the transparency. Then timer down. Turn the timer off. If my pause is true, then we're going to show the play icon. So if trans pause is smaller than 255 then we're gonna subtract uh, 15 from trans play and we're gonna add 15 to trans pause turn the timer on else timer off reset variables and you could go else if my pause is false it does this here uh, then we're going to show the pause icon so trans pause is greater than nil. It is, it is 255. Then we're going to do this, we're going to do the opposite. Very easy, I don't have to explain it, I think. Uh, turn the timer on, reset the variables, turn the timer off, and then you get your own pause play animated media button. Enjoy this one. 